What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we are going to go over three unguardable post moves but that are easy to use. Let's get started. What's up Hoopers again? We're here, we're working on our post game today. We got three different moves to go over. All right, these are moves that are easy to use that you can put into your game as long as you practice and put the time in order to add them to your arsenal around the paint. All right, so if you're trying to become a post dominant player, we're about to add three moves into your game right now. All right, the first one, we're out here. We're not gonna be directly on the block in this move, okay? We, get, we, didn't, we got pushed out. We're gonna say we got pushed out a little bit or we just wanted our catch a little further out to go to work and have a little more space to operate against the defender. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna spin the ball out, boom, about 12 feet. We're gonna face up, okay? So notice the footwork on that face up. I'm opening up towards the middle, so my left foot's my pivot foot. Swing open that right foot. I face up on my defender, okay? I'm just gonna give him a little subtle jab. Now I'm gonna shot fake, okay? Subtle jab, shot fake, we drive by, boom, we're to the basket. Easy, simple move. Like I said, these moves that we're going over are gonna be easy to use, okay? So again, one last time, we wanna spin it out, open up towards the middle, subtle jab, shot fake, boom, blow by, get to the basket, and score. All right, so this is the first move of three. We're working inside the paint. We're trying to become dominant inside this area. You should be able to shoot a high percentage, right? Especially if you're using these moves to free yourself up. All right, so this is the first move of three. This is the face up, shot fake, and drive in full speed. All right, Hoopers, we're moving on to the next move. We're now gonna work on a post spin. Okay, so we're gonna catch the ball the same distance away from the basket as we did the last move. So on here, when we catch it, you have the option now where you can face up again, how we open towards the middle, or we can reverse pivot into it, all right? So whichever way you prefer is fine with me. Work on mixing it up. Okay, so we're here. We got a defender on us. We want to get towards the middle so then we can spin back towards the baseline and finish at the rim. So we're here, boom, we're going to take it into him, drop step, spin. Okay, so we're here, facing him up. Now when we put this dribble down and try to get to the middle, we have to protect it, right? So I don't want to just go here and give it to the defender. I want to put it on the side, right? So where it goes right next to that first step. So I'm here, it goes down. I got the ball protected, they're on my hip, boom. Now when I spin, right, I've got to drop this foot that's closest towards the baseline, towards the basket, right? Because I don't want to drop it and go here and go away. We're not shooting a post fade, we're trying to get to the basket. So I'm here, I want to drop that foot. Look at that angle it takes. So now when I get back here, I'm right by the basket to score, all right? So again, we're here, boom, got our catch, we open up. We attack, we attack, we drop, and we score. Post spin, easy move to use, add it in your game. Here it is, move number two in full speed. All right, Hoopers, again, here it is. This is the third move. We're gonna still work on our face up, right? If you can face your defender up and put the ball on the floor and get by him, that's gonna give you a great opportunity to score the basketball. All right, so here again, now we're out on this, working on with our left hand, 
We're gonna open again towards the middle. We're going towards the middle. We're not gonna go baseline just yet. Okay, so we're getting in here. Boom, we're getting in our defender going this way. We're gonna throw a ball fake with our inside hand. So if I'm attacking with my left hand, right? That right hand is gonna become that inside hand with that shot fakes. We wanna show that ball, right? Not give it to them, but just bring it up high, right? So that counts as a shot fake. Get them to jump. If they don't, we're coming back with the second shot fake. So we're here, we shot fake again, and then we step through and score, right? So one more time, well not one more time, but we're breaking it down. Boom, we're attacking, getting, trying to get to this side of the basket. They stop us, show them the ball once. If they don't jump on that one, most of the time, unless if they're a completely disciplined, great defender, they're going to jump on this second one, right? And just enough for you to step bottom. So my left foot is my pivot foot that entire time. So as I'm coming across, I stick it here, boom. I stick it here, boom. And then I'm coming through to finish, right? So we're attacking the middle with a shot fake step through to score at the rim, okay? So face up, again, if you wanna use a reverse pivot or if you wanna use a forward pivot, we're attacking. One, ah, shot fake, shot fake, step through, finish. All right, let's have a look at this third move in full speed. All right, Hoopers, well, there's your three easy to use post moves that you can add to your game. If you learned something like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment, any suggestions that you may have for future videos. Most importantly, what you really need to do is join Think Pro Basketball by clicking that subscribe button, checking out all the great content we have to offer on our channel to help you improve your game and take it to the next level. All right, now it's your turn to get out there to hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, work on the three post moves you've seen today so you can become a post threat. And remember to always keep hooping.